Okay, it's the 5th of Jan, 23, we're back. And we have Rob's L322 board in. And as we can see from the note, the smells of burning. Runs when the car locks and unlocks, and when doors are open and closed. So, that's what we know. We have it on the machine, we power the machine. And you can hear the fan whirs straight away. So that will require an immediate repair before we can even talk to it. Now, looking at the board straight off, we can see. Oh, yes, and for 23, we have a bit more uh, camera technology. So we can see straight away on the pump MOSFET this massive burn hole here. So we can see this MOSFET's had it. Um, the fan MOSFET, the coloration here of the mask on this particular MOSFET and the pump MOSFET is, is the right colour. However, as you can see on the fan MOSFET, it's very dark and so this MOSFET's been getting too hot. Uh, it's been working in its linear region and not not working, um, not not opening in its gate fully, and that. So we have to check for this one. We know it's running the fan, but it could be damage stuck open, um, that that sort of thing. But we definitely know that the pump one has failed due to this massive hole that's let the magic smoke out. So um, first things first, we'll remove the caps and the goo, and we'll see how bad it is. So here we go. So we'll try and get it off as clean as possible. It's mastic, it's not silicon. Some of them are silicon, which is quite strange. Now, funny thing is, is this looks particularly clean under here. I'll show you in a minute. But I bet this one's disgusting. This is the worst uh, offender as it normally is. On the 91452C boards, you've got to remember, they're like 2005 or whatever it is, it's, uh, it's getting on now. And as we can see, it's full of. There we go, it's full of grot, gross. Um, so I will just whip the caps out first. Out. Uh, where are we? Yeah, it's very green. First one out. And the second one. Junk. So, now we have the caps away for clarity. Get in there. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. So this one's definitely got a hole in it. That's that's no two ways about that. But as we can see the darkened area from the mask here, that's a telltale sign that the fan MOSFET's been getting far too hot. So just give it a gentle wiggle side to side, applying gentle pressure to see if anything's lifted. And they all seem attached fine. So this area is a bit gross here. But this area looks quite good, um, especially these two, but we're going to change them out anyway. So I'm going to hot air and remove this one, this one, 
and this one to start. So let's uh, let's do that. I don't know if my uh, camera can get any closer. Focus. Going to focus. Uh, it's probably as close as we can get. So straight to the hot air. Pre-warm the board a little. Oh, I can smell the cap juice already. Disgusting. So here we go. Off. Off. There's three resistors off. Okie dokie. So, I'm coming with the flux. I'm just going to clean the pad areas of them like this, like this. Just removing the mask. that and then I clean the iron and then come in with the braid in that pad clean that pad. So them three pads there are nice and clean. So now we'll come in with some acetone and a cotton bud. Oh, well actually first just going to remove this excess gunk. Right, now we're going to come in with a cotton bud and acetone. Now I can see on the cap line there that there is some corrosion from the caps. It's, it's a given. I'd be uh, surprised if there wasn't. So we're going to do the caps there on that square pad. You can see the corrosion there. Now the two vias that sit underneath the cap, this one and this one, they, uh, they don't look bad at all. So that's a good, uh, good thing. Let's get this smooth out. Just going to come in with something a little more aggressive. Is that old mask coming off? There we go. Acetone. That's that bit done. Now this bit is a bit gross as well. So in with the acetone. You can actually see that pin one, two, three of the uh, IC there has gone black. So hopefully that comes back. So this has been caused by leaking caps. So that's the majority off. And then we're going to come in with the brush again, a bit more aggressive on this IC leg. Oh yeah, that's coming back. That's good. Okay, so that was only surface corrosion. That's... Uh, Good thing, it didn't, hasn't gone too deep. It's 
Still some corrosion on this uh, cap pad. That's come back as well. No damage to the um, to the trace there. That's that's magic. So quick clean up again. New cotton bud. Some of this mask here needs removing because it contains the junk from the cap. You see how easy that just scrapes away. This stuff's that evil, it even rots the mask away. So we'll clean this whole area of mask. Oh, yeah, it's just flying off. Gross. Acetone. There, so that's our board nice, clean, and prepared for uh, some new resistors. Now, what we're going to do is the holes for the caps. So, clean the iron. First thing to do is put down some fresh leaded solder, clean them pads. There you go, it's a nice silver pad now. God, it stinks, you can smell that the cap was leaking. Disgusting. Poor, God, it's not nice. There we go. Come in with the braid, suck all that off. You see it's gone very black there uh, with the flux, that's um, it's definitely showing that there was cap juice there. Because I, I have no smell of vision <laughs> but you wouldn't want to smell it anyway, it's absolutely disgusting. A bit more flux on the braid, same process. Have it. Now that one always is um, quite hard to get at. What we'll do is we'll clean the mask around where we need to solder it. Best thing to do this is heat. And in the middle there, oh, always trying to remember to stay in the shot. clean iron. Now my hole de picky tool in the hole, heat my tool, in it goes while twiddling and then that's a free hole. Snip my braid again and now I should, oh, a bit more flux, now I should be able to get the rest of that solder out that hole. And the other 
saw it. Let's check with the hole tool. And yeah, it fits in now. So that hole's clear. That hole's clear. And back to cleanup. So back in with the old dust tone. Once all that dirty corrosion has been lifted with the flux, it should be good to go. So that's the pads nice and tinned and cleaned. Do the same with this one now. See, with this particular board where the fans run in and it won't communicate, we have to fix this part of the board to get it to re-communicate, or it will never communicate. That bit. Oh, need some more flux. Uh, acetone. Acetone flux. It's all the same. There we go. So, come in with the paste. Resistors. So come in first with a 10k part of the flame monitor circuit. That's 10k. Next will be 4.7k. It's part of the fan hold off circuit. And then 49.9k. Don't use a 47k, use a 49.9k, the original one. There we go, and that should rebuild the commas. So, hot air. Okay, so they're on, but we like to make sure that they're on. So we'll give that a second to cool, and then I'll finish off by hand. Okay, clean the iron. I'm going to load it with solder, dip in the flux. And touch on. Hope I'm keeping this in shot. And touch. Need a little bit more. Uh, 
Acetone. Okay, so that's our three new resistors on. So we're going to quickly uh, plug it into the machine. Obviously we know it has other issues like the MOSFET burnt out and that. But let's see if it's gone quiet now. And it wants to communicate. So plug it up to the machine. Turn on. Ooh, and we're quiet. What a surprise. So, let's see if we can bring it up on the machine. And it says, off state, no fault. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. So, we'll run diagnosis, component test. I'm gonna run the air fan. <laughs> Air fan's good. Going to run the fuel pump. Fuel pump's good. Going to run glow plug. Coming up nicely. See where it settles at. 0.992 in the holding. Thousand and thirty two, perfect. And we do have um, a fault code for the circulation pump, and it's classed as an interruption. The shits and giggles will run the circulation pump. And nothing happens. We will delete the fault codes. We will run the circulation pump and it instantly trips which is absolutely to be expected. Okay, so now we know where we're at. We'll move on to repairing the MOSFET. So, one moment. Okay. So, on to the MOSFET repair now. And as you can see here, somewhere in the light, we have a brand new BTS 117. We'll swap them out. So, the fan shouldn't be getting any hot anymore, it has just a little heat mark I say but there's nothing wrong with that MOSFET now that's that's fine so on to the pump so first things first we're gonna come in, come in with the hot air well, let's, um, let's get you guys a bit closer in shall we there we go look at the bloody hole in it eh there we go that's a much cleaner shot isn't it so, let's start heating the board. It's important with this uh, topicalized coating to remove all of it um, and not to try and solder through it because that just it just doesn't go well. Obviously, anybody who knows soldering knows that you need it nice and clean. Well, as clean as you can get it at least. 
So we want to do a um, quick lift. So I'm going to hold on to the chip and gently wiggle side to side, and as soon as it's free, lift. And we're there. So there's the dead one. Now we're going to come back in with the iron and some flux. I'm going to clean the whole area because it's still got the mask on it and stuff. We'll start by removing all the all the coating. Sorry, we don't want to move the mask. We do want to remove the coating so that we get the new one to sit just where we want it. Okay. Come and lift all that junk away. Like so. Come back in with the acetone. You know, I spend more time acetoning things than, uh, I don't know, uh, a nail salon. Then, I'm going to come in with the braid, I'm going to take up all that solder, I don't know if the camera can make it out, but um, let's see if it can, if we can get it in the right light, sort of, you're going to have to struggle to squint your eyes, but here on the pad, and here, it's still like that goldy colour, yeah, you can't, mm, uh, um, yeah, uh, maybe a little bit, but it's still like goldy colour, so it actually meant that in production it never fully got hot um, and fully wetted out, so we're going to change that. So back in with the braid and the old flux. Just removing all the old junk. a nice flat pad Okay, that's great. Fresh clean q tip. Acetone again. There we are. So, I'm going to come in with the paste, Place our new MOSFET. Like so, come back in with the hot air. Let's see if I'm just We 
and just wait until it floats on the surface. See it starting to level now. Push down, remove the heat. Okay, so that's on, so we're going to come back in with the iron. And we're just going to add that little extra to the legs. Lovely. Lovely. And then I like to just hit the back and get that little extra on the fillet. Fill the fillet. Touch of flux. There we go. So, one more time with the acetone. Just to remove any residual. Okay. Look at that hole and crack. Look at that hole. So, uh, a warning to Rob. You must check your pump is okay. You must put 12 volts to your pump and check that it's okay because something blew that MOSFET. So, before fitting this board again, check that that pump's working okay. And if not, replace the pump first or we'll be back here again. So, I mean, it could have just been a freak thing. It's rare, but it does happen. Um, so, that all looks great now absolutely in there so we'll connect it back to the machine right now check make sure it's uh, cooled sufficiently which it has back on with the power 
it's now up, we'll delete the fault code we'll bring up the component test and we'll go through it backwards, so fuel pump yep glow plug yep check the fan yep and now for the one that we've just done the circulating pump and there we have it the pumps running lovely and we'll check again yep and one more time so that's all good so I'll just come back in a second I'm just, just going to take some um, printer reports okay so we're back now before we solder the caps in we use some proper UV mask this stuff's essential I mean, even in these closed systems with a very good moisture still can present so we will topicalize the board and seal out our work and repair to do is put plenty under where the caps are so should they ever leak in the future or whatever there's a lot more protection to protect the board that wasn't done in the original you can see where the machine bypassed around the caps so always better down the side of the uh, legs there, so that's that one topicalized down the legs of this chip here because it was a little dirty as well there we have it all nicely sealed out and green again it's actually quite hard for the camera to pick that up but uh, it's there so that's that I've had ones come to me from um, I don't know, I think it's Latvia or somewhere, and, that, and the guy's using um, what looks like red gloss paint. It's absolutely terrible. A retreat with a UV. Set with the UV. And this is the perfect time where I get to have a swig of my coffee and a quick vape. Well, am I allowed to say vape on YouTube today? Good God. A nice 30 seconds on that side, 30 seconds on the other part. We have a new uh, project coming up. Uh, it will be the Land Rover seat ECU modules. Uh, they've got a lot of open relays on them, uh, water gets into them, it has one of those horrible nickel cadmium Varta batteries that leaks, 
so that that will be a up and coming uh, video and service. So now move on to this side. I'll just use what's left of the um, on the Q-tip just to give the new legs a little coating. Never hurts. There we have it. The camera is uh, blocking half the UV. You can't. You can't. It looks quite dull in the camera, but trust me, it's bright. <laughs> Makes your eyes go funny if you look at it. It's not a good idea, I suppose, being UV. Okie dokie. Now. In with the new pair of caps. So in we go. Ooh, some nice new expensive caps. None of that Chong X rubbish off eBay or anything. Always use expensive caps. I use JRB caps high quality caps don't fit rubbish caps or you'll be back there again If you solder with lead, uh, it's it's the best for repairing. Now, you guys might not be able to get hold of lead solder. Um, it's all. Don't buy your solder off eBay. It's rubbish. It doesn't matter what it is. It's rubbish. Unfortunately, a good roll of solder today is over thirty pounds. So. If you're not spending that, you're using junk. And of course the surface mount we do using paste first and then finish off hand soldering just to make sure that it's a proper fillet, a proper joint. These boards, well, these boards are probably the most hardiest piece of electronics you'll ever own. You've got to remember it sits on a heater, it gets up to 90 Celsius every single time. Um, it, it, moisture ingress, vibration all the time off a, off a vehicle. It's pretty much the hardest board, you, yeah, piece of electronics you'll ever own. Um, so for that reason certain parts have to be um, repaired in a slightly different manner than say repairing your TV or something, you know, like an indoor piece of equipment. Uh, just j just the example there um, of adding the extra little bit of solder on the fillet there. Not required on anything else, but something that's high vibration, things like that, absolutely. So there we have it, one repaired 91452C. Last thing to do. Acetone again, <laughs> just to clean off the last of the uh, last soldering there, the caps. And of course, it'll get all that good stuff like a little 
cleaning up which won't be done on camera but as you can see it's absolutely disgusting uh, I'm sure Rob will be very happy